Hi everyone and welcome to another video from DisperryPair.com. In this video we're going to show you what a bad wheel bearing sounds like. We'll start from the beginning of the problem when it's barely noticeable and finish with the final stage of the problem when it's time to replace it. Uh, the sounds you're going to hear in this video are more or less the same for any car you drive. There are some variations but more or less it's the same scenario. So stay tuned. DisparRepair.com Be sure to visit us at our website DisparRepair.com where you can find more useful car and driving tips. If you're not sure if you have a wheel bearing problem, we've made a separate video about the most common symptoms of a bad wheel bearing besides the sound. Click on the link if you want to see it. The first sound that will probably appear is a distinctive humming sound. At first it will be barely noticeable and in this stage it can easily be mistaken with other problems like an underinflated tire, bad CV joint or else. But as the problem gets worse, the humming will get louder and louder. Also it will become louder as you drive faster. Besides this, you might also hear a clicking sound coming from the wheel like when a small metal ball hits other metal. You can especially hear this if you listen while you're driving with an open window. After some time the humming will turn into a howling sound. At lower speeds it's a sort of a whining sound but as you drive faster and more load is put on the damaged wheel bearing it becomes a loud howling sound. At some point it may also sound like growling all depending on how much the wheel bearing is damaged. By this time in most cases there's no doubt that the wheel bearing is the problem. The sound in some cases is even louder than the engine. At the final phase of the problem, you'll hear an unpleasant metal-like grinding sound. If you've ever heard a bad bearing on other devices, you'll know what I mean. It's the loud sound of metal grinding against each other accompanied with sounds of something crunching and breaking. Be aware that this is the final phase of the problem and that the wheel bearing is on its last legs. If you keep driving, you're at risk of the wheel blocking or else and no need to say how dangerous this is.
For the end, some uh, words of advice regarding fixing the problem. Once you hear the humming sound, you or a mechanic make an inspection and try to find out what the problem is. If it's the wheel bearing, it's best to change it at this phase. Even when the howling sound appears, it's not too late, the car is still probably drivable, but that's the red line for replacing the wheel bearing. Try not to let it get to the grinding phase, as uh, if it does, you're in serious danger of the uh, wheel uh, blocking and it can stop turning and no need to say how dangerous this is, as it compromises the stability of the vehicle. The wheel bearing problem is luckily one of the car problems that has a long span for solving the problem. So a bad wheel bearing can last a couple of hundred and sometimes even a couple of thousand miles before it completely collapses. So that gives you more than enough time to uh, react to the problem. So that's it for this time. Hope the video helps. Please like and subscribe. It's a huge help for what we're doing. Thanks for your time and thanks for watching.